Hello, lovelies. We are going to be covering grade seven, lesson one dash three. Today's I can statement is that I can compute unit rates associated with ratios of fractions. So just like we've done in the pre <clears throat> previous two lessons, uh, except for whole numbers, we will have fractions. So here we have our practice problem in our reteach. Um, a little definition for you, a complex fraction is a fraction that has a fraction in its numerator, denominator, or both. So kind of like what you will see here, we have a fraction inside of a fraction. So our word problem here is a recipe says to use one third cup of orange juice to make every five sixth serving of fruit smoothie. How many cups of orange juice are in one full serving? So our first step here is to make a ratio. Um, it's really important to make sure that you have your units labeled so you know what you are finding. And for unit rate, we wanna always get to that per one, that one serving, like miles per one hour. Here, we wanna get to per one serving. So we have our ratio of orange juice to fruit smoothie. Um, and then we're gonna rewrite it as a division problem. So here we took our numerator and our denominator, and we did numerator divided by denominator. Um, it's just a common mistake to maybe flip those, so it's important to remember that the numerator goes first, divided, uh, divided by the denominator. And then we are going to do our keep change flip or whichever uh, uh, device you use to remember dividing fractions. For me, I always do. We keep the first and then we change the second. So we went from division to multiplication and then we flip our second fraction. So what that is, is multiplying by its reciprocal. So multiplying by the reciprocal of that second number. So the only one we touch is that second fraction. And then we're going to solve. So with multiplying fractions, you get to multiply across your numerator. So one times six, that's what we see here and then across our denominators, which is our three times five. And then we need to simplify. We see that you have six and 15. Um, three can go into both, so that's what we're doing here. We're dividing the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by three to simplify that to two fifths. Now, when we're working with this, we need to put this into a sentence. We need to figure out two fifths what? What is two-fifths referring to? We go back up to our original problem up here. One-third cup of orange juice to five-sixths serving of a smoothie. To put that into a sentence, we're going to have our cup of OJ per one ser Ooh, serving. Time. And here is our nice pretty sentence for that. There is two fifths of a cup of orange juice in one serving of fruit smoothie. So let's try this with um, without the steps next to it. So it, we want to find unit rate. Again, that's that like per one, whatever your unit is. Um, we have three eighths of a mile in three fourths hour. So three eighths of a mile per three-fourths hour and eventually we'll get to that miles per one hour or miles per hour um, but we do need to let's kind of see what we did up here and connect to what we have in our uh, our example up here so we have our numerator and our denominator so I'm going to rewrite this down here to be three eighths divided by three-fourths we're going to do our keep, change, and flip. 
So we'll have 3 eighths times, and then we're going to do our reciprocal of just our second number. So 3 fourths, we flip that to be 4 thirds. And then we go to step D here, our solving. We're going to go across our numerator and across our denominator. We're going to have 3 times 4 is 12. And then 8 times 3 is 24. Now we know that these are both even numbers, so 2 can go into both of them. Uh, let's see, 3 can go into both of them. What's our next highest number that this that can go into 12 and 24? And then what's the highest number that you can get to that goes into 12 and 24? We could do 4. We could do 6. Or we can even go a little higher. And i change colors here. Uh, 12 goes into both of them. 12 goes into itself once, and 12 goes into 24 twice. Now, if you'd done those smaller numbers, say you divided the top and bottom by 4, you just would have needed to continue to break it down. Now, divide that by 3 afterwards. So if you can do those bigger numbers, great, and see that. Otherwise, it's just a, a few more extra steps to get down to that simplest fraction. And then, going back to step F, step F here, um, putting our solution into a sentence. What does it mean? One half what? Um, we had our miles and our miles over our hours. So what this one half is saying is that we can go one, oh, that's big. There we go. <laughs> one half of a mile for every hour that passes. So again, you can go one half of a mile, so one half of a mile for every hour. 